so I know I started off on a funny angle. We only started that off because the field gets um, shorter and shorter as we get to the runs, and now it's finally straightened up because of the runs are shorter. So that was really the aim of it. And we're gonna go around and plow the headland anyway. So um, yeah, but I just want to say again, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Send in your comments. Do you like plowing? Do you plow? If you, or have you seen a plow out um, on farm? Comment below, let me know. I've got to change the plow now. Sorry, not change the plow. I had to uh, reverse the plow and pick it up. So, because my runs in and out are looking pretty good at the minute. I'll show you when we get back down the other end. It doesn't really work for this because obviously the field's coming on an angle, so I'm pulling out a little bit shorter every time so I can turn round. Okay, so we've lifted it up and then at the end we've got to turn it. So if I click it, it should. So we can do it while we're moving. Turn, turn, turn. Ready for the next furrow. But if we don't turn it, then we basically leave a massive like uh look here that bit you see a furrow we leave a furrow in the middle of the plowing and it doesn't look good a bit of a dip you know um i mean it's easily done for getting to turn it over at the end but um don't basically <laughs> right so we're back in the ground we've turned over and off we go you want to make your ins and outs um as good as possible so like um they want to be similar to each other so you're not going in really far in and out really far out or something like that so it's i think it's hard to do sometimes but i think i've got better as I, the day's gone on i forget what my so i've only got that bit left now and the shorts are getting short the runs are getting shorter and shorter so not too much longer now and then the headland so I'm just doing the headland now and this is where it starts to get a little bit more complicated because um, obviously different parts of the headland, different shapes and you have to leave a, a meter or one plow width at the end so you can go and do all the land but each part of the field is different so you have to go and do them little fiddly bits and it's all right but my neck's starting to hurt a little bit. Just got out to have a little look. There's all the plowing land. I've just got the headland bit to do now plows looking good so when we get back what we'll do is gonna we'll put loads of grease all over the uh that plate so they don't go rusty but i'll show you that uh, hopefully there's some gloves in the workshop but yeah you can see why plowing takes so 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 long and that's that then this is my last row to finish the whole thing off <sighs> unfortunately it goes on a little bit of angle but that's the way it it goes with the crop that's been drilled basically on this side um so yeah that's plowing let's go and grease the mold boards um and i'll show you how we do that and why we do that mum's come to visit but my ins and outs are all kind of like there okay we finished i've got a saw on it but now we just need to flip it over a few times to get rid of all the soil on that left one there we go and again so this is called a reversible plow because obviously it reverses uh, you can get plows where you they don't reverse like this um, but that means you have you can only go one way up the field to plow yay so I'm just basically I found this in the tractor trying to get all just a bit of the mud off soil dirt not mud just it should all kind of fall off if I loosen it up Ugh. Okay, so that's done. Let's go and check the pet lamb on the way. On the way back. Let's go 
and find the pet lamb while my tractor waits her. She's not in there. She should be around here. There she is! She's all okay, wrapped up in her uh, little pink fleece that Hannah knitted for her. Back to the arable farming. So I've got grease and a rag, but I'm looking for some gloves. I don't mind doing it with my hands, but it's a lot of grease and it goes everywhere. Have a look at this secret cupboard. So I found my gloves, got my grease. Lubricants direct. And I've got my got my rag. So let's go. I'm gonna see if I can prop you up somewhere so you can see what I'm doing. Because I don't want to get grease all over my phone. Oh. So if you can hear me, this stops the boards from rusting. Because when you go ploughing and it's really rusty, it's not fun and the soil sticks to you. I think you've got the gist of it, so I'll stop there. Okay, so they're, that side's done, so I need to get back in the tractor now, flip the plow over so I can do the other side, because I am too small to reach. So you see, that's now in the air, and that's uh, a height that I can reach. So we're not doing them little bits there, because they need replacing anyway, because um, they're getting a bit old. So, back with the gloves and the grease. So, I've taken the top link off, pipes out. Last thing to do, unclip this. Whoops. And then I can stand back, use this. Oh, hang on. That could have been a disaster. I need to put the stand down. So, isn't that silly? I'm um, looking underneath going, am I going crazy? And the stand's on top. Oh, I need to flip it the other way silly so I'm gonna have to take it all back on again. There we go that's what I want and I'm unattached. Dirty hands but unattached. I'm just gonna use the rollers and go and roll my ploughing. I'm just gonna go in wash my hands grab some more water and then we'll go and do that.